Here with Luis Cuba Arias, undefeated upcoming middleweight prospect, 8 0 4 knockouts. Uh, you had a pretty busy year, good year. I think you had seven fights this year. Um, yeah. Tell me about your year. How was it for you? Um, I was I was a very, I'm, I'm happy. I felt like we had a very good year this year. Um, my goal, we had turned pro around this time last year, so my goal is to put up, you know, about about um, nine to ten fights, you know, try to get as close to ten fights. We put up eight, so I'm satisfied, you know, I'm happy. You know, we've worked extremely hard. We've been moving extremely quickly. I've been learning a lot, and um, I'm happy with my progression. I'm happy with what's going on. I'm happy with my team, and, you know, I'm excited. Uh, 2014 is about to be the big year. You know, we, we did. We made a lot of noise in 2013. Again, we put up eight fights in a year. You know, we cracked the top ten this year. So um, it's been very good. You know, I'm happy. I'm happy with everything. And, and again, just looking forward to 2014. Okay, and all you, and the places all you fought, any key fights stand out, or you know, just any victory performances. Um, I, I mean, honestly, I'm just real happy with every single one of them. I felt like I've progressed every single one of my fights. Um, I've proven that I can, if if you're, you know what I'm saying, if, if you've been stopped before, I've proven that I can stop you. I've proven that I, I can get you out of there with body shots, with a head shot. I've, I've been able to go to rounds. You know, I didn't fought some, some experienced guys already. So I didn't have a lot of different type of tests that, you know, people have early in their career, and I was able to get all those out the way in a year. So um, in terms of performances, I was just, you know, I, I just feel good about every single one of my performances. You know, again, I feel like I've been progressing every fight. That's what I was going to ask you about. You fought guys who, you know, in only your fifth, six fights, guys who were experienced, Daniel Livingston, Latif Monday, James Winchester, guys who had gone distance fights. How important was it getting those fights in and getting rounds as opposed to just blowing out a nobody? It, um, I felt it was good. I felt like that's what, that those type of lessons are what, you know, help me progress and help me move so quickly, you know, as a professional. You know, I've always had the, the style, but having the style, having, you know, the training is only one thing. You just need the experience. So I was able to learn, you know, those are the type of fights that, that, that fighters need in their career. I was just able to, because I asked for it, I was able to get them back to back to back. You know, but um, fighting those experienced guys, it, it's just what's going to get me ready when it comes down to those big, big fights. You know, I'm, I'm, I mean, I've already learned so much from those couple fights that when I do get on the big stage, I already have, you know, a lot of experience what it feels like, you know, to be in certain situations. You know, like you're not going to knock everybody out. So I've got, the, you know, I've, I've learned I've learned that already. You know, I've learned to take my time. You know, these those veteran guys just force you to be a professional, to be a true, true boxing professional and fight like a professional. So it was, you know, it was good. And I'm glad, I'm glad that I got those. Those, those are the type of fights that I, that I asked for. And those are definitely the type of lessons that I needed, you know, and I'm, I'm happy. Okay, now, to those who don't know, you train, you know, you're part of Mayweather Promotions, one of his fighters. You train out of the Mayweather Boxing Club. What's camp like for each camp year round, the training you got last year? Take us behind the scenes. I mean, again, moving to Las Vegas was the best move that I could, I could have possibly made as a professional. I mean, just everything. The training is at a high level. Um, the conditioning, the, all, all your workouts are at a high level. Being in the Mayweather gym, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of sparring. So it, it's a high level everything, you know what I'm saying? But that's what you need to compete at a high level is you need to do all your training and everything at a high level. So it, it's been a blessing. It's been a blessing to be able to move out here. To, to, to set up shop out here and to, to have all these resources you know they all they're all very they're all helpful they're all necessary in order to be a world champion so um it's it's good you know it's good I, I would recommend it to anybody people always tell me you know where's the fight net and it's e it's pretty easy that you know and knowing that Las Vegas is the fight capital of the world you know and the training it proves it as well you know there's there's great training there's a lot of sparring and and we honestly, in my opinion, the box, in terms of boxing, we got the best gym. You know, you're gonna get the best work. You know, there's the doghouse rounds. You know, it's 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 good, and it's 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 something that I needed. Okay, you mentioned the doghouse. From best of your memory this year, tell me a, a list of some of the notable names, guys you sparred with this year. Just and who gave you what's some of the best work you got this year? Well, I sparred. This year, I was able to spar Ishe Smith um, as he was getting ready for his title, preparing for the title shot. After the title, I was able to spar him throughout all those camps. I was able to spar Badu Jack, who was up for a title real soon. I was able to spar Jaylion Love, who was up for a title as well. Ronald, you know, so those are all, 
you know, Sean Porter. Porter. Broke mm-hmm. back Sean Porter as well. Helped him for the camp. So I was able to score. I mean, there you go. Look at the, the yeah. list. The list of high level competition is yeah. you know continues and continues. So it was it was every single one of those sparring sessions was intense, you know. And it's they're all they're all lessons, you know. You, I, I've learned even through my sparring sessions how to become a, a true professional. So you know, it's it's good. It's good to have those type of those type of <clears throat> sparring and that type of work. You know what I'm saying? That's why when it comes to these fights, we're we're, we're all we're so prepared. It's because mm-hmm. of the work that we put in behind the scenes. You know, like. It takes a lot of sacrifice and dedication to, to compete at a high level. And, you know, we're, we're doing all the necessary steps to get there. Okay. Say you had to look at your life in Milwaukee. Like, say you didn't make the move. How would your life be different if you didn't make this move you did? Um, I, I don't think my, my boxing would be take, would be at the level that it is. You know, um, I, had a, I had an excellent trainer back in Milwaukee. You know, Israel Acosta. He was a great amateur coach. You know, he's the one who started me. And he, he, he got my fundamentals down, you know, he got my basics down. He taught me the basics of boxing. But as a professional, you got you to gotta be able to take it to the next level. And just the truth is, you know, boxing in Milwaukee is not at a high level. So I just feel like it would have been much tougher to learn, to learn that professional, you know, the professional style and those professionals' way of training and professional way of fighting. It would have been much tougher, for, as, a, as it would have been much harder of a transition. You know, because he, you know, that, that that's an amateur. You know, he's he was an amateur coach, and a lot of the a lot of the boxing in Milwaukee is good at an amateur level, mm-hmm. but at professional level, it, it it has rarely has been taken there. So, in order to you know take your talents to the next level, you gotta go where the resources are for in order to do that. So, okay, it was kind of like I had to do it. What's a life like, you know, as a fighter? just the discipline and everything that it does require and also what do you like about living in vegas you know being a fighter out here i mean what just what is it like for you um i think being in vegas being a fighter in vegas is you know it's an it's a it's i'm blessed to be out here and it's, it's sort of like an honor i mean when you think of big fights you know what i'm saying you think of vegas you know all the big fights will always be and have always been in las vegas so there's a lot of history here so just to be a part of that and just to slowly, you know what I'm saying, start making my, my mark in the history books and, and putting my mark in the history, you know, it feels good, you know. I've been, you know, I've learned a lot just being here. So, it, it, you know, living in Vegas has been a blessing, you know. It helps me stay down to earth, you know, because I came from such a small city, but living in such a big city and just living your dreams out here in this, you know, such a such a big, you know, big city, you know, it feels good, you know. And, and it's an honest blessing and, I, and I'm glad that I've been blessed enough to do that. What um do you want uh, in uh, 2014? Like, what what is your goal? This in 2014. This is the big year. In my opinion, this is gonna be the blowout year. Um, I made my name. I've you know I've, I've started to make my mark in the game. Um, you know, like again, it took me a year to put eight fights. It took me a year to crack the top ten. I've been fighting. You know, people that people would not even think of throwing the, the type of fighters in. You know, like like Danielle was a prospect before I fought him, and I t- you know, we took that fight with four fights. So this year, you know, I feel like I've made my mark enough and I've proven enough that I'm a legit prospect. I'm a contender in my opinion and and skill wise I'm there for a title shot. But you gotta take your time, you know, you gotta go you gotta go slow and we gotta get we gotta make sure we get all those lessons so that by the time I do get to that title shot, it, you know, it should be second nature. So at right now for 2014, I should be I should be slowly just just continue winning impressively. Continue going for the knockout for all my fights. Continue to, you know, grow my fan base. Continue to to make my brand and, and make my name bigger and bigger. You know, so that you know eventually, you know, by the end of this year, I should be I should be in the middle. I should be in the title mix. You know, I should be talked about as potentially a, a next title shot for, for early 2015 or or as a, a, a next potential star. You know, what I'm saying I I feel like I got it. We we have to have a perfect team. You know, I have the abilities, you know, I, I worked extremely hard, you know, and, and I come to fight and I'm always going to come to fight and I, and I will be a fan favorite. Like I said before, in the last interviews, I always said that I was going to I was going to be a fan favorite. I was going to come to fight all my fights. I was going to put up a lot of fights. And I was going to go for the knockout this year. I feel like I've proven that, you know, and we're going to just continue doing that. We will continue to, to work harder, progress every camp. You know, train harder, you know, get more rounds in, go to longer rounds in, and continue to just win impressively. You know, it's all about winning impressively, keeping the O on my record, you know, and 
becoming a TV a TV fighter. And and this year we will prove that. You know, I hope that the networks this year, you know, you'll see a lot of me. Now I'm back in the game, just trying to display my name I'm opening my delivery, so deliver my pain And I show what I know, through paper and pencil Cause I don't rap about swag, cause swag is for big show Man, I thought you knew, all the things that I've been through So I'm be telling the story that I had admit to And uh, I'm not a thug, don't rap about fake drugs I keep it 100% cause in the end it's all love And my name is Jay Still, a mill, ready to kill I'm spitting my truth and lyrics cause lyrically I'm a kill Ever since I was 11, I wanted a piece of heaven Like anyone on the street, it's hard and you're adolescent So I'm peeping the game, just trying to see where I stay Am I considered the best, or am I under the lane? It's all part of probability, if I got people feeling 